real treat for astro astronomers and stargazers this morning. Did you get to see it? Oh, absolutely it was. I mean, it's once in a hundred years. Apparently it's even more than that a uh, hundred years ago when this alignment took place last. The sun was directly behind the four planets, Mercury, Mars, Venus and Jupiter, so the view wasn't very good. But this morning, in the northeastern sky, slightly above the horizon, there they were, all four stars, two of them very plain, the others not so plain, but all there, and a major event in astronomical terms, and also in astrological terms. The four planets represent four of the major gods of the old Greco-Roman pantheon, and a lot of people who believe in these things saw all sorts of portents and indications in what was going on. So hundreds were down to the beaches, hundreds were down to the headlands, all along the eastern seaboard of Australia to see this once in 100 year event. It certainly was a beautiful sight. Now, Pete, this morning's alignment was particularly significant. Tell us why. Well, it's Friday the 13th, and as I was saying, a lot of people see all sorts of portents in Friday the 13th. The, uh, some of the stargazers say that what this indicates are more tsunamis, more earthquakes, more floods and more drama around the world. Well, I can't really see how we could possibly have any more than we've <laughs> had so far this year. Others, however, other stargazers say that it means good things. It's a bit like the whole black cat thing with lotteries. Some people see the black cat as lucky, others see it as unlucky. Some people buy lottery tickets today, lots of people don't buy lottery tickets today. It really depends, I guess, on what side of the bed you got out of or which <laughs> ladder you didn't walk under, Amelia. Well, let's hope it's lucky, hey, Harves. Thank you very much for that.